guys, Mae here, and today I'm going to be doing a video about everything that I use in my photo card binder. The last time I did a photo card update, which if you haven't seen what my entire binder looks like, I'll link that above right now because I'm not going to go full like in depth to every single photo card I own in this video. I'm just going to be talking about the supplies that holds all the photo cards and that I use in my photo card binder. The first thing that I use um, for both of my binders, I have two photo card binders technically. Um, I also have a star card binder, a binder I keep my sleeves in, and a trade binder, but I'll show you a couple of those in a second. But for my main binders, I use a three ring, um, three inch heavy duty binders. I just got these at Staples, which is a office supply shop in the United States. So if you don't live in the United States and you live elsewhere, I didn't really get these anywhere special. Yeah, so those are the first things that I use. I have a purple one and I also have a blue one. Purple is for ultimate and blue is for other groups. Probably should be the other way around, but we're not going to dwell on that too much. Of all the other binders sizes that I use are these two binders. So this is my trade and sale binder, which is getting really full, so I need to make another trade and sale video. Um, but this is a one inch binder. I used to use this for photo cards and I <laughs> quickly outgrew it. Um, but this is the binder that I keep all of my sleeves in because when I keep them in their like plastic things that they come in, I just lose them. So yep, but we're gonna go through all the sleeves that you see here um, in a minute. Next thing that I use are these recollection, um, cardstock papers. And I use cardstock instead of construction paper because cardstock is thinner. And I use these to make the little squares that I use in my binder, which you will see throughout this video, but just to show you kind of what they look like. Um, and construction paper doesn't go through my printer very well, so I use cardstock. I got these at Michael's and they were pretty cheap when I bought them. I think I bought like a whole bunch of colors back when there was a huge sale. Um, I was there for something else and I ended up just buying, um, yeah, I was there for like club stuff when I was in college and I was buying supplies for a project I was doing for a club I was in and I ended up seeing these and I was like, these would be great in my photo card binder, so I'm gonna buy like a whole bunch of them. Um, but yeah, good thing I wasn't being reimbursed for the stuff I was buying because I would have been like, yeah, so I bought a bunch of card stock for personal use. Um, but these are only two of the sets that I have, but each set came with a couple different colors. That's like a bad example because there's not that many colors in that one, but yeah. So I use these throughout my binder. I like to separate groups by color. It's just something that works for me, so it's something that I do. Um, but I have a program on my computer. I will go through and I will measure the size of the pockets that I'm using them for, and I will make pages and print them out on my computer. Super easy. Take a long time to cut all the cards, but besides that. Um, so let's go ahead and start going through all the pages in my binder. I'm gonna try to do this in most pockets to least pockets order. Let's see if I can do it. So the first pages I of course use are nine pocket and eight pocket or nine pocket sleeves. Um, they're the most common. I use BCW and Ultra Pro. Um, I didn't even realize that I had grabbed both kinds, but there's like this huge debate in the photo card community which one's better, but I personally don't see too much of a difference between them, um, so I own both and yeah, I really like using both. The only thing that you want to make sure that your sleeves um, are acid free sleeves and this is similar to what I said in my how to protect your signed K-pop albums video, um, acid free will just mess with the ink on the cards and you don't want that at all because some photo cards are like really expensive. <laughs> so this is kind of what it looks like when a page is full. Yeah, so I mostly use these for my vertical cards. I really don't like putting horizontal cards in nine pocket sleeves. It like really, really bugs me. Um, so I usually won't do it unless I it's a full set or something and I'm trying to keep it together. So sometimes I will put little labels here. This is for a full set, like this set of Infinite Paradise cards. 
um, but usually my pages will just look like this where they have nine cards in it. So this is a nine pocket sleeve. This is my first page of Wuyan cards um, that has one card missing, his Dilemma Japan card. Dilemma, the bane of my existence, that album. I don't have Sungyul or Wuyan's card from that era, but yes. So um, as you can see, I will have the cards in here and then the card that I am missing has a piece of yellow cardstock and this is just so that there's not a like hole in the middle of it because then you can see it in the next page and that really bugs me so I like to kind of just be able to look at a page and be like okay this is what I'm missing um, I also have a sticky note on here it says Dilemma Japan on it um, and this is so that if, when I, if I ever when I get this card, I can just take the sticky note off and I can save this for a future infinite card. The next pages I'm going to talk about are my eight pocket sleeves. I started using these recently um, and I really, really like eight pocket sleeves because then you can put horizontal cards. This is my BTS group cards, um, the small ones because I do have large ones as well. You can see that these are here and I also have purple cards. BTS's color is purple in my binder. Don't ask me how I decided that. I just did. <laughs> Sometimes I will try to make it like near the fandom color and this time I just didn't try. It was just like purple. But yeah, so I will keep all my horizontal cards in here. These are slightly longer than the nine pocket sleeves. So if this, this is a card that fits perfectly in nine pocket sleeves. As you can see, there is a little space on both sides of the card in there and there's a lot of space above it. Some cards that are horizontal are super long though. So I actually like that these are bigger because if I ever collect cards that are really long, they will fit in here. So yep, those are my eight pocket sleeves. I really like those. Uh, after eight, we have six pocket sleeves. So for six pocket sleeves, really I don't use these all that often. For 17's bookmarks, it is the perfect size. You can see Sung Chul and Jung An fit perfect here, um, but this makes me want to have like more of these, more of these bookmarks from this album because I feel like this page is so empty. A lot of my bigger cards, if I'm missing cards, I'll just leave the space blank, but I really do need to start cutting out larger holder cards because seeing blank spots bug me a lot. Four pockets I don't use all that often either, um, but this is an example of a four pocket page in my binder. So I have Wano's, um, the Clan 2.5 Beautiful, transparent card in here and these transparent cards are the bane of my existence and I also have one of his pre-order cards from the code but yeah um here I do have white pieces of paper in here and it's just like computer paper it's not like cardstock um I should replace it with cardstock though eventually but this is so that you can see the transparent card because otherwise you would be able to see through it and it's just this makes it so much easier to see and my plan is that I think both um, cards would fit in here well together. So like both cards from each version. I haven't really thought and thought and I haven't really thought that far into the future yet because like I said, these are the bane of my existence and I haven't been paying attention to collecting them very much. For three pockets, I have a bunch of three pocket sleeves. I have three different types of three pocket sleeves. The first one is my most unique one. Covers are really good for the infinite, um, real date paid little card things. Um, so I have those three. This is the reason I kept some Jungs because then I could have three on a page. Um, but I also use them for my obtention collection <laughs> because these obtention cards drive me crazy. Everybody loves the circle cards. I really hate these circle cards, but this is a way that you could store them. So I really like the way this is set up. Also for twice lane one, I have my Jihyo um, whatever those cards are called, I can't remember at the moment. The other three pockets that I own are a little more normal. Um, so these are my older three pockets. These have the man and love postcards in them and they fit pretty well. As you can see, there is a pocket on the side though. Um, this fits OBI strips really well and, but I don't really like it. So here I have man and love postcards. This is like my handwriting from years ago, literally. And then I also have these newer ones, which don't have pockets on the side. The card in the middle on the top is more centered. And I'm finding that I really, really like this a lot more. Two pockets. I only have one set of two pockets and it is these BCW ones. These 
I like them, but sometimes I really wish that they were slightly longer because a normal like eight and a half by 11 page looks like this. Mm, yeah, I wish it was longer. So if anybody knows of any two pocket sleeves that are longer and would actually like fit longer cards, that would be amazing. Please let me know. Um, I also use these for postcards, like my She's Back postcard might be mine, pre-order postcards. The last pages, of course, I have our one pocket pages, so I'll use these for a couple different things. The first thing I will use this for is just um, dividing pages, so I'll just have a piece of cardstock in there, and this is my Monster X one. Um, I also sometimes use these for storing cards, and this is usually for things that could fit in two pocket sleeves if I had longer two pocket sleeves. So, things like my VIX Shangri-La, um, the little inserts, and also the little bookmarks that came in that album. This is Yuck's, and obviously Yuck. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I keep things like this here. I use a lot of these for VIX things. I have a lot of these for VIX because Bix just have things that would fit perfectly in two pocket sleeves if they were long enough. So yeah, I think that is everything I want to show you that I use in my binder. For other pages, I will use the, pa the sticky notes that I showed you earlier. I don't usually use. I actually use this block of sticky notes that I keep on my desk. Um, fun fact, I bought them because I thought this was the design on all of the pages, but they're white. Makes me so sad. And now I have like so many of them. I'll just take this and I will snip off a little bit of the side, probably like half an inch. I don't really know. I just kind of eyeball it. Um, and then I will put them on the card and stick them in the sleeve. But yeah, that is it for everything that I use in my K-pop binder. I hope you guys found this helpful if you're just starting out your K-pop binder or if you've been being really messy about it and now you're like, I need to reorganize it because I used to be super messy about it and like didn't care and then suddenly I cared a lot and now this is what I do. So yeah, I will link my most recent photo card collection up in the iCard. Um, I probably already did it at the beginning of this video and I'll link it in the end card as well and down below um, if you want to check out kind of how everything flows together in my binder. I should do another updated photo card collection kind of soon, but I might just do a trade sale video. I don't know. And then do like a photo card collection in the summer, maybe? Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about any of the supplies I used, I will try to link all of the, at least the pages that I used down below um, so you can get them. A lot of them I got on Amazon. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.